Today we're back with another deck design and we're gonna be painting it with a new can of spray paint that I haven't used before. It's called Color Shot. I have no clue if it's any good. This is gonna be an honest review of this particular brand. I saw it at Walmart, thought the can looked really adorable and was like, I want to see how this works. It's much easier to hold than a standard spray can and I hope it's got the same amount of paint in it because if not, it's kind of useless because it's only $2 cheaper than regular paint or a dollar cheaper than regular paint. I don't know. So I'm curious, I wanna give it a shot, see how it works, and then do another custom deck design. This one's gonna be an Inuyasha theme. I've made the design before, I'll put it up here. And yeah, hopefully it turns out well. I guess without any further ado, let's jump right into it, shall we? First things first, being this is an apartment and not a house, I can't paint in here. So I have to grab boxes and use them as my, my paint booth. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Set up something outside and go from there. Perfect. Normally what I would recommend doing is sanding your blank deck before you start painting on it, but just to test the paint itself, I'm not gonna do any of that. The prep work is gonna be terrible, so I'm just gonna shake this up and start spraying it. If it's trash, if it doesn't work, what I'll do is just sand all this back, do a proper prep work on this, and then do proper paint on it. But this is just to kinda see how good this paint works. So I'll let you know. So right off the bat, it sprays really well. It's laying nicely. It looks like it's getting a good coverage. I'm happy with it so far. I feel like it sprays much better than the other paint that I've been using, so I kinda like this. And it is really windy today, so it's still doing pretty good. So my first overall impressions, this paint actually is really, really good. I'm highly impressed with it. It lays really well, it sprays really well, it dries pretty quickly. It's still kind of wet right now, so I don't go too crazy, but I mean, it's only been sitting for not even five minutes and I can touch it just fine. That's insane to me. I really like the quality of this paint. It's so much better than the other paint that I've been using. So this might be my new go-to. So I'm gonna let this sit for a little bit longer and then I've gotta get the projector out so I can draw the design. Hopefully it works. I need to know if I can draw on this still. So that's gonna be the next test. So far, I like it, good quality. got the basic lines done. It's looking really good. I did mess up a little bit here. That line is not supposed to be there. I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to hide that. I don't know if I can because this black marker shows through everything, but I'm gonna do all black here and then do all the fine details within this. So I'm hoping it looks really cool. Right now, I'm liking it. It looks kinda like the reference picture. I think his eyes are gonna give me some problems, but overall, this shouldn't be too difficult. It's like three colors, red, red, and then black, I mean, and then also silver and white and a few other colors. I guess there's more than three, but I'm gonna pretend there's three. Uh, today I'm gonna be using little Posca markers for now. I might use some acrylic paint. I might use some other markers I got off of Amazon. They work really well too. It'll be a mixture of both. I think I like these more, but I don't know how good they are anymore. They're, they're pretty old, I'll be honest, but I'm gonna try to use the acrylic paint markers, Posca markers, and then a mixture of just some acrylic paint, depending on what I have, and make it look really, really cool. For the details on this board, like I said, I only have a few colors that I need to use. The problem is the colors I have are very limited, and I didn't think about that when I started this project. What I should have done is probably mask up everything that should have been red, and use the red color shot spray paint. The reason I say that is because the markers I'm using were leaving a ton of streak marks, and it took three layers just to get full coverage, and I still don't think that was enough in certain areas. So I may do another video using nothing but the color shot paint because the quality is actually so much better than I expected. Like, actually really, really like the color shot spray paint. I also needed more of a maroon color and I didn't have that in marker form, so I had to blend a few colors together like purple and red, which did end up working a little bit. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. 
but hey, you live and you learn, and what I learned was I need better markers, paint, or just use the color shot spray paint. Now the next part to start working on is the hair, and this to me wasn't a big deal, it's just two colors, white and gray, so it's pretty straightforward. The gray I was using though ended up being pretty watery at first, so this took up to about four to five layers, and same for the white, which takes forever because you have to let it dry before adding another layer, and sometimes the paint would just start to crack or separate, and it was just a mess. Even though it should have been really, really easy, it just was kind of a mess. Again, for the future, I may just try nothing but the spray paint and see how it turns out. Let me know if you guys have any other suggestions on what I could try or use because it would really, really help. Also, you'll see in this part, I ended up getting my flashlight out on my phone because the lights in the new office are trash and I hate them. Yellow lights are the worst and if you like them, well, sorry, not sorry. I did lose a few clips transitioning from the hair to all the fine details and line work, but you guys have seen me do this before. I just got the black marker out and went around the entire piece, creating more depth and detail on the whole thing. did clear coat off camera and I used the color shock clear coat and it actually reacted with the paint underneath so it has a little bit of this like cracking stuff that I was talking about in the video so a lot of that I couldn't really do anything about it's just paint reaction again next time what I'll probably do is use all color shot stuff because it looks really really good like the quality of the paint is super smooth it lays really well so actually i'm a huge fan of the color shot paint and i got a little bit more to make for future content so we'll see what we can do with those two colors but overall this is how the board turned out i personally i really like it it matches the reference picture really well it's not the exact same but it's a really good board in general that matches my reference picture i made so really stoked on the way it came out pardon the, the massive glare from the lights but overall this has got to be one of my favorite decks that I've made, so happy with it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, and I guess that's going to be it for today's video. Like I said at the beginning, I kind of wanted this to be a little bit of a review for the Color Shot spray paint because it is new to me, it's new in my opinion, it's the first time I've seen it at Walmart, and personally, honestly, I really like it and I highly recommend it. So if you have Walmart close by and you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. It's like $2.97 a can compared to $4.97, which is what I usually get, or $6. Actually, it might be $4 and the other cans are $6. I don't remember. Regardless, they're pretty affordable. They're good quality. They spray so much better. This is not a sponsored video by any means. I just truly believe that the quality of that paint is actually really, really good. And I'll know more the more I use it. So stay tuned for future videos working with more color shot stuff. If they happen to watch this awesome, great. I would love to work with them because again, I think that they're fantastic, but if they never see it, it's cool. I highly recommend them. So definitely use them for your future boards or whatever you guys do uh, that I help kind of teach you, I guess, if that makes sense. But anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. It really helps out the channel. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome. Later.